so I have received this hair from DY Hair. I'll put all the information in my description box. And this is me opening the package for the first time. This is how the hair came. Oh, this is super cute. Look at this, yay. Okay, again, it's DY Hair 777. This is the website here. I'm in love with this packaging. I'm a sucker for pink anyway, so. Cool. So we open our little baggie. And then we have this hair satin baggie with the hair in it. And this is a 20 inch 13 by six wig. It's a frontal wig. This lace would be perfect actually. Ooh. And this is in the natural color, 130 density. Oh, this is full lace. This is perfect. So this is what the lace looks like on the inside. Okay, so this is my mannequin head. Again, I'll show you the rest of the, the uh, hair again because my camera died when I was doing the unboxing. But I kept it in this organza packaging here. And this hair is super soft. And it has no smell. It actually smells beautiful. It has no smell. Okay. And again, this is what the lace looks like here. So this is all lace. I think it'll be perfect on my skin tone. Yeah, has a comb, three combs on the inside. And this stretches in the back. So that means it should have a perfect fit. Okay, so right now I'm gonna um, tint the knots because the knots are pretty visible. However, the hair looks like it's plucked pretty well see I'll kind of really like that I'll probably go in and do a little bit more plucking but for the most part it looks pretty good the knots are just a little dark so I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, tint those knots So this is all down and flat. Boom. Hey, shawty. It's your Okay. So now we're going to get our bleach ready. And again, like you've heard, I'm sure you've heard before, but what I like to do, I get thick, but not too thick because I feel like sometimes when the bleach is just too thick, it doesn't seep through enough, but you don't want it so thin that it seeps through and ruins the hair. And I'm using the BW to bleach. With two and a half scoops. Already clear all the de developer, <laughs> developer, developer. Thank you. 
the purple shampoo and I'm gonna wash the hair out with the purple shimmer light shampoo. And the purpose of this is to get the orangey brassiness out of the roots from the bleach. Okay, so this is what we have. Wash the hair. This is what she looks like. So you see in the front is just still a little orange. I'm gonna pluck it just a little bit while it's wet. I actually really like this hair though. Normally you have a lot of hair that, cause I've purchased hair a lot on AliExpress and I've also had really good quality hair, that as soon as you wash it, it mats up. But this hair, it, just, it continues to stay soft, so. It's a little bit of shedding. So apparently, I left my Gots to Be spray in my apartment in Raleigh. So we'll use the Gots to Be gel as well. I only don't like doing it this way just because it takes so much longer to dry. But it's okay. We are gonna roll with the punches. the guys to be to not just sit in one spot because that's what makes it dry take long to dry it's just a clump of it so I'm just gonna spread it back some I checked a little bit to see if it was dry. You see the skin is lifting up with it. So I think that's dry enough so that we can start cutting the cap off. I also, before I do this, I like to, like right here, you see it's a lot of skin that's right here. So I like to lift it just a little bit. Or you could probably use like um, lip liner and draw a good line around where your actual hairline is versus your skin. OK, 
okay so now I want to cut all of this off and then once I cut it off I'll um peel more back if I need to well again I do like to use the uh, method a lot of people have been using cutting the air tab out first just so that I don't cut too much off from right here So then we're going to go back in and we'll start cutting everything around. This is not my skin complexion, so I have another one. My complexion is 338. This one is 335 coconut. So I used that one, and I mixed it with a little bit of... I had some old face and body foundation that was just really dark. And I go a little bit darker than my natural skin complexion just because the cap is so light. And I feel like when you make it darker, it tones it down one tone. So I want to go one tone up when choosing my foundation. Ball cap looks like now for the wig we want to go in and put just a little bit around the edges on the wig like this when first of all I think this is a really good match for my skin complexion so just a tad not even I'm not even gonna put any more makeup on the brush I'm just gonna brush it with whatever makeup is on it This complexion was this lace was really good. It came really good. Look what I've done in my shirt. So that's that. I'm not putting too much. Okay. Up. This is what we got so far. So I just need to clean up those edges. Do some more plugging once I lay it down so I can customize it to my hairline and this wig fits perfect it's a little bit long on the air tab so we'll cut those off as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I'm going to be using Ghost Bond today. Normally, I don't like to put the Ghost Bond over here because sometimes I got a little bit of baby hairs out because I just have a lot of baby hairs, like that one spot I told y'all about, and then my sideburns. But I usually do Ghost Bond from here all the way around and then the Gots to Be um, spray on that sideburns. Sometimes, depending on how long I want to keep the wig on, I'll do ghost bond all the way around and just be um, super particular on where I put it. Now, I'm very much so, uh, I, I don't keep the same hair all the time. And especially, I can't wear crazy colored wigs and stuff like that to work. So I very, very ran, rarely use Ghost Bomb. Most of the time I use the Gots to Be Spray just because I can take it off easier. However, it looks better when you use the Ghost Bomb, in my opinion. So we are gonna use the Ghost Bomb today. And I'm going to just put it above the cap. you guys about my um hot comb is an electric hot comb it's by annie and i got this off of amazon i think it was like 18 dollars, and it gets really hot okay so i'm just plugging this in to get this ready i put three layers of gots to be i mean ghost bond on there boom so now we're gonna put the wig on and then i'll cut the lace off after i lay the wig down however we do want to take the hot comb and try to comb the hairs back so that it does not get into the ghost bond. I have some clamps, but they're in my car. Okay, so we comb those back. I'm gonna put, use the comb that's in the back of the hair. I'm gonna put that in the back of my head. Calm that down. Now, as soon as this lace gets touched down on this on this um ghost barn, it is down down. So we want to make sure that everything is even. So it feels pretty even here. Now I'm going to put the middle up on first. And then everything else after. So 
but she is down. Look at this. Get that out of here. And this is what it looks like. Put a little bit of powder in there so that it could be a little lighter. See, that's where the orange tint came from, the um, bleaching the knots. No biggie, no big deal. And you can see the difference on how far I took the makeup back and where I didn't put makeup back. So, because it is a deeper part, you can put more makeup on there, but... I'm just gonna go in wherever I put my part in. I'm just gonna go in and put my own um, little bit of makeup on it. Tell me if you want it. Yeah. Come in my way. Tell me how you need me. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm gonna put everything in a ponytail. Brush it back, brush it back. Put it in a ponytail. We're gonna cut this lace off and do a little bit of tweezing. Who are you talking to, honey? You're such a mess. Who are you talking to? My friends. Where they at? In, in the internet. In the internet? What did I tell you about that, that internet? <laughs> that, 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 that internet, the dangle. That on the internet. The dangle. The internet is not the devil. That internet, that, 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 that internet, they be talking about that the devil. They lie. It's 2000. Look at you, got you pulling your wig back. I got Your scalp. Lying. Just lying to the public and letting them know you're lying. <laughs> it's not lying, honey. It's, That's lying. It's beauty. Deceit. <sighs> Deceit. I'm not that If you're talking to yourself, it's just going to I am talking to the internet. All right. First things first, I really feel like this ghost bond is like really old. So it does not. We can use the scissors or we can try using the eyebrow razor this time. Okay, so I'm gonna tie this down to see if we get this. If not, we're gonna go back in with the, oh shoot. This thing is hot. 
We're gonna go back in with the um, alcohol and clean this part up and then reapply the ghost bond in those places. Okay, so I'm using a Q-tip to kind of wipe the excess glue off because I feel like that's what's um, sitting on top of the lace like that. It would have been a lot better if I used some new glue. I don't want it to be too wet because I'm not trying to lift the lace up. I just want the glue that's on the top of the lace to kind of come off and whatever's on around the lace. We want that off. So we're just gonna go over that. So right now what's happening is it's also getting a little bit white because the makeup that I put underneath is coming off with the alcohol. So there's some excess glue right there and get that off. Okay. Hey. I'm gonna plug this hot comb back in. I took it out too. And I use Luster's um, Slick Stick. This is what this looks like.
Okay, so this is what we got after I plucked this side more. I did a little plucking in the front. And I plucked this side too. I didn't pluck this side as much as the other side, but it got plucked, okay? And again, I only used the, uh, this <laughs> to do my baby hairs. I know I could also make them look uh, not soft too by using the um the mousse but I left mine at my house apparently I left everything that I needed there Just put a little dab of makeup in there, a little bit from what wiped off when. Do I want to crimp my hair tonight or just leave it as is because it's kind of cute wavy like this. Definitely got to bump it so just a little bit of flyaways and can lay down. And I'm definitely probably sitting up only because I'm flat ironing the hair and then the angle that I'm doing it makes them sit up a little bit. They weren't too bad though. I could also just straighten it. So we'll just add some to straighten. Coming on with those little um Here's I plucked out. It's here all on the floor.
Overall, I definitely love this frontal. All of this wig. <laughs> I just need to get some new glue. So it won't give me a hassle the next time. <laughs> 